Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel. Real quick today, we're gonna to show you how to install uh, sunshades on your awnings. We went with two different brands. We went with Carefree and we went with Vista Pro, Shade Pro. You'll see it later on in the video. But we went with this one because it's a known brand that a lot of people trust. They say it, it, it does really well. We went with that one because honestly, Carefree didn't make one in that awning size. So we're gonna test this one out. We're gonna see how it works and we're gonna get into the install. So this comes with a leader. On your thing you have that empty hole right there so what we're going to do we're going to take that and put it in that hole right there and just feed it through and then you walk it down as far as you can all right hold it right there Feed it from that side and I'll pull it this way. So we're even on both ends. Now this is how easy. Yeah. And then we zip it off. Right. That's gonna be so nice. That's that. Now let's see if the other one fits. Right there. That's it. So I'm just taking regular alcohol. Oh, so that you can put those sticky things on? Yeah. Okay. What it does is this doesn't really do anything other than it makes sure it doesn't slide from left to right. Again, all this does is keeps this from working its way out of the because yeah. looks like it's about to rain. Yeah. See how easy this process is. I 
think that's pretty easy. Yeah, like it. Here's, here's what I did. I measured from this black cap right here all the way to this black cap here. Now, this rail is 10 feet wide from end to end. And as you can see, it, it's, there's no wiggle room. So if you're 9, 11, don't order a 10. You can always go shorter. So if you've got a, a, a 10 foot wide rail, you could go to a nine, but you're gonna lose six inches on either side. Mm -hmm. Not a big deal. That's what we had to do on that one over there. The drop, you need to pay attention because every one of the, the panels, the main panel that you zip on, most of them are six feet tall. This is where you get your extra length. So this is either a one foot, a two foot, a three foot, or a four foot. And the reason they do this is because if you got a one foot, but your awning is way up in the air, then you can't reach this without a ladder. So just know that your main panel is six feet and this up here is gonna either be one foot, two foot, three foot, some cases four feet. But you simply measure from here to the ground or how far from here out to how much of an angle you want on it. And then go look up, you know, if it's, if it's 10, in our case, this is 10 by nine because I wanted a foot and a half out from the, the awning. Well, evidently, if you're under 10 feet, you get a one foot panel. That side, I don't remember what the, I wanna say it was 10 feet down total and we ended up with a two foot panel to zip to. We thought it was gonna be three or $400 per, per awning. awning. And it wasn't. Now, if you go with Carefree, that was, that one was, for that size, was $220, something like that. This is a Vista Shade. Now, I am not recommending this product. I am not telling you to buy this product. I have no experience with this product other than we just bought it. But I can tell you this one only cost us like $80. So we're gonna test this out. We'll let y'all know, you know, how they stand up. The material feels the same between the two of them. So. Um, Zipper feels the same. Yeah. Feels like it's a, a very similar. But we could not get, um, the Carefree did not make one that was 10 feet wide. So we had to go with a different, the smallest Carefree makes is 13 feet wide. So we had to go with this one and we'll see how she holds up. It's about four o'clock and there is no shade to speak of in our sight, really, except back here. So we're about to see what a difference these sunshades make. From, you can see from about there out to there and now we have shade. That wraps up the installation of the drop shades on our awnings. Um, we'll keep y'all updated on, you know, how these things 
play out, they tear up, you know, if the zippers get stuck, but hopefully you can take this information and if you've been wanting to do this, now you shouldn't be afraid to do it because it's really easy.